Thank you so much for being here, Your Royal Highness. My pleasure. I want to start, if I can, with, with the deaths of the Iranian uh, president, Ibrahim Raisi, and the foreign minister in that helicopter crash a week ago. Uh, and your thoughts about the impact that could have on Iran's domestic and, and foreign policies, or, or does it have any impact at all? Basically, every aspect of politics in Iran is ultimately controlled by the supreme leader, yeah. especially when it comes to foreign policy. So I don't think there's going to be much of a change in terms of uh, the replacement to uh, Mr. Raisi. It's probably going to be more of the same, and Khamenei has maintained consistently the same uh, position he has over the last uh, three decades. And I think we shouldn't ex anticipate any shift uh, from that particular uh, policy. How, how, was, how were those deaths um, viewed inside Iran, from what you've heard? Well, uh, from what we get from Iranian social media, there was many, many celebrations across the country with fireworks, with people distributing sweets to one another and being uh, relieved that uh, one of the most sinister characters of this regime that has been directly responsible for the death of thousands of Iranians under his watch uh, has uh, met his uh, maker. Uh, we only uh, feel that uh, we wish he was there to witness the downfall of the regime and be held accountable for, for his crimes. But this is now water under the bridge. Uh, the fight continues for many Iranians to liberate themselves and uh, we'll continue fighting until the day we are liberated from this regime.